assault and impact. I think my favorite guy is the the head twisty guy because he just oh, like yeah. that's all he does. He just twists heads. Yep, hundred <laughs> percent. Uh oh. Something happened. A murder. Are they here? Explosions yeah. in the background. <laughs> like, yeah, they're like a, a couple minutes away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! He got vacuum, bro. Facts. Ooh. Imagine like that's the way you go out. You get vacuumed. Yeah, right. <laughs> you get your head snapped and you just. They're probably gonna get it. Like, Protect me. <laughs> that's not weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's body. Yeah, right. <laughs> they're late. They're dead. Maybe if she wasn't a dumbass mofo. <laughs> and run away from to the yeah. to begin with, and basically let this dude in the building. Yeah. Damn. I don't know why that reminds me of Gara. <laughs> like like a very edgy like Gara. I, yeah, I, I don't mean, know why. Like with the eye. Yeah, with the like, eye and the red know, hair. Yeah, and they're like, longer, but like I don't that know. color. Yeah, yeah. It's very simplistic. I just it's for like some reason Gara's reminds me of older, him. Older, edgier brother. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> the dropped out of college edition. <laughs> Low can't all control sand. All right? yeah. I always got to hit people with axes and shit. Oh, shit. No, not Professor Oak. <laughs> oh, my God. These guards are trigger happy. As, I mean, I guess I get it. They've blown up the city and shit, but. Oof. Mm. I love that he just did the same yeah, thing. Yeah, I know, old man. You know, reverse it. Doesn't, he's yeah. like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have no trust here. <laughs> okay, let me kill all the guys. Just chilling. Vibe. These beetle bones, dude, crack me up. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Damn. Jesus. Hey, there's that first exam yeah. practice coming back into Yeah, right. Play. And you know the train's going to start, probably. Yeah. Actually, it might not. <laughs> Who is yeah. this guy, bro? Can we kill him? Oh, shit. He's dude's still worried about the auction. Yeah, right. <laughs> the city's on fire, and they're like, "Yo, where's my my stuff?"
Hey. Mm. Damn. Hmm. Get the room going. Come on. Okay. I mean, that wasn't like a definitive no, but. Oh. Uh, okay. A little mind control leak? Yeah. Oh, maybe that's the girl. She's Because remember, cause she can control people mm -hmm. with strings. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. It's um. It's a, the, the, dude. the blonde haired yeah, kid, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this kid, bro. <laughs> Fact. Like, I'm just going to play a video game in real yeah. life. <laughs> It's kind of interesting, too, to think that, like, in a way, Karapika set this all off like mm -hmm. by killing him. It's like now they're on a rampage, and it's like he opened this bag of worms mm -hmm. that, like, he wasn't really even intending yeah, to. Yeah, and I think that's what he's realizing now. Fuck. <clears throat> oh, damn. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, texting out here. So, because just watching the fireworks. Yeah. I mean, wow! you may have numbers, but if they're all just dudes in suits and guns, like, what are they going to do? These dudes got superpowers, basically. <laughs> Damn, Crappy is just, like, w taking his time walking Facts, up yeah. and down the stairs. <laughs> it's just like... Oh my god, bro. These dudes are so worried about their fucking weapons. Mm. Oh shit. Papa K. He said, shut up. Oh, 
All right. <laughs> All right, that's one way to get the situation under control. <laughs> like, actually, I'm going to hang here. <laughs> yeah. if that's cool with you. <laughs> Y'all go do your thing. Don't let me stop you. The spot on the ground looks like. So let, yeah. let me take a nap real fast. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody uh-huh. got that couch over there? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. This dude just pen stabbing everybody. <laughs> I'm going to use all these pens. Ooh. Is he gonna run into him, or uh, hmm? I don't know what's happening here. Oh, it was copy. We're gonna find him first. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> They're like, all right, at the same time, ready. <laughs> See if you can ignore. Yep. Damn. So Copy Cup was right there, bro, but then he got called back. Mm. Oh. oh shit. I was right. Damn, anytime somebody has a technique like that in the, in these worlds, these shonen things, it's just busted, dude. And we're off. <laughs> oh, but if he could steal techniques. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, damn. Oh, shit. They already got his code. Oh. Yeeks. Oh, oh shit, dude! This is immediately intent. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shit. Oh, interesting. So oh, interesting. The the conditions are external. They don't mm-hmm. have anything to do with the fight. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Damn. These dudes are hard. Damn. Kind of metal, bro. I'm a kind of about that. He's like, <laughs> I'm like, you they're take my head off, to kill him. He's like, all right, got it. It's been real, old man. Dude, this is insane. Oh my god. Ooh. Skill Hunter Bandit Secret. What? Oh, oh is he going to disappear? A mantle, a conjurer. Yeah, I think he's going to oh, summon. Oh, oh, he's going to summon that something. bitch on the page? I, that's what I was thinking. Okay, who's he going to summon, though? Is it someone or we what? know? Is it a... Ra- Dragon head, long. Oh my god! Uh, I don't like how he just like kind of peeks his head in the boat. Woo! Okay. Is it man? Oh god! Is that what he wanted? Is that what he wanted? Is that what he wanted? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Probably still block it. Oh, okay. Oh. I see now. What do you see? Okay. Holy crap. Oh god, but you know he has a fucking Trump card up his sleeve, and I don't, I don't. Oh, shit. Damn. So they, they went at it before. Yeah. Oh, and I don't like that because he's like, and one of them. He seems die. like the main pro tags and. He ain't going to go down. Okay, no, he probably wanted that. I don't trust this guy one bit. Yeah, I feel like that conjurability he, yeah. he has has like a, you know, a loophole. Something, which is going to happen right about now. Ja. <laughs> what the actual fuck? My man said dual oh, spirit dude, bomb. This shit ain't going to work. This shit ain't going to work. Is he just going to kill his papa and this guy's going to... Somehow he's, he's gonna like sub out or dead. something. Yeah, so no. Oh. <laughs> Me just thinking everybody can use substitution juice too. Damn. Damn. Woo. Oh man, oh. my guy. Oh jeez. That is actually amazing. Yeah, was, yeah. Oh, thank God this is the, fir- the first episode of our two episode. Because I gotta know what happened. Damn. So he, that's, yeah, I, I, I really do think that, I mean, like, you know, not, I, but like, if that's the leader of the Phantom Troop, <laughs> uh, yeah. suffice to say, there's no way he's dying here. Obviously, he's got some loophole, but I wonder, because I could see that, well, I don't know. Yeah, obviously, his, his ability has to have some kind of, you know, like maybe he, he, he wanted them to think that he needs to have the book open at all times, but he actually doesn't. Yeah, he's definitely playing some 40 chess. Yeah. But I'm just like, <sighs> did Papa Z really just ice his dad there? I mean, these we these if if we know anything about these dudes, they are kind of metal like that. Like they, they are. They'd be like, yo, if you got to kill me, like, the job got to get done. Like, you, we're getting paid one way or another. And I, I would assume that that's sort of 
how they've gotten their reputation is not only that they're they're powerful, but that they're you know by the by name of assassin, like they're willing, they're ruthless, they're willing to do whatever it takes to complete the mission. Um, I mean, you know, these were the role models that Killua had up until recently. But it's like I wonder. So it's interesting that a so we did get to confirm that this guy, um, who I apologize, but his name I forget, the leader of the fan troop. Um, uh, it is confirmed he can steal other people's abilities, which mm-hmm. was something that I predicted might be the case last week. Mm-hmm. But in sort of what I didn't think about, in sort of typical Hunter Hunter fashion, he has he has per, um, conditions that he has to clear, yeah. and it's not just one, but there's four or five, and they're all external to combat, meaning that it has nothing to do with the fight he's in, which is very interesting. Mm-hmm. And it actually, I mean, I'm sure once whenever he talks about it, and we'll get into, it, we'll see for sure. But just off of hearing that, it actually sounds that actually sounds like a pretty good counter to an ability like that. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you can have anybody's ability, but here's four or five conditions you have to clear before you can just. And it looks like he needs to scribe them in his book. Yeah, Something and like again, that. I think he might have figured out a way that he doesn't need the book open. The but book the last open. episode yeah. would allure us that to the fact that he needs to have the book open to use that abilities. Yeah, and then he can't steal one, like I said, unless he clears the condition. So I'm also wondering how, when he steals them, do they automatically get scribed into the book? Or is it something that he has to manually do? Or to oh, like is it you just know what like I'm saying? Boom, boom, done. Or yeah, like, like I don't know if it's like oh, I meet these conditions now. It's like mm. scribed in the book for me to use. At I any also time wonder if with no limits. I mean, I would, I would, I would assume no. But I also wonder if stealing the ability does any harm to the person whose ability, you know, to the person. Oh, who's so stealing the person from. that he's stealing. Yeah, from. like does it? I don't, I don't think it would kill them. But like, does it maybe like does like drain them? the ability yeah, from them yeah. or something like that? Yeah, so okay. yeah, maybe I don't know, but. He's got a D and D wizard written <laughs> yeah, all over bro. him. That's, you, that's bro. he's he the is. dungeon master. <laughs> Fake, Fake and psych. psych. Okay, Ooh. well if that's um yeah, that's not foreshadowing enough. anything. Yeah, exactly. A fake. Mm. I mean, they got some ugly ass guys <laughs> on these like bodyguard jobs. I know. They're like, just put him in a suit. Oh, we're fine. Yeah, facts. Put some glow. Oh. Uh. oh, oh good God, night. Dude. We really need like some ninjas yeah. and bodyguards, bro. bro these guys are just paper sleep spelled right there. Oh, wait. Oh, that's um. That's the. Isn't that Neon's uh, like um, bodyguard chick? No, no, no. That's uh, the killer was um sister. Oh, yes. And was that his brother? I don't know. What are they doing? Wait, yeah. I don't know why it reminded me of Neon's bodyguard. She's got like that black hair, purple dress, and like yeah. dead eyes. I actually think it's the opposite. I think one of the troops is impersonating the Dons. Mm-hmm. Because they've already killed them. Mm-hmm. This is going to show us that he's not alive or something. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yep. He's the fake. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. But that does look like Killua's family. Yeah. Remember that. But that's, yeah. yeah, but it's not the Phantom Troop that killed him. It's Killua's no. fan brother. 
Because he, yeah, because he does that shit. Yeah. What is he doing? What are they doing? I don't know. Well, he was friends with Ahsoka. Is he part of the Phantom Troop? Kind of, remember? I don't think so. I mean, he was friends with Ahsoka, but... Where's my client? Oh, they both survived. Wait, what? <gasps> oh shit, they were working Oh, wow. Wow. So it's really just about the job for them. They don't. Hold him back. Mm-hmm. Cause they got beef. Yeah, he's like, I don't give a fuck about the job. Next time I see you. Wow, that's nuts. So he, oh man. <laughs> All right, check tomorrow. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing, Oh, so did he steal her power and that's why she's unconscious? Because he met the requirements? I mean, if he met, yeah, if he met them, those said requirements before he met her, then I I would. That's what I'm wondering is what he did. He oh, definitely shit. he definitely stole her power. Oh my god Dude are all these guys gonna get ice right now Oh you're getting killed right now dude Yeah Good night Yeah (laughs) None of the leaves were hurt Okay Damn Uh oh (laughs) <laughs> like just not the situation you want to be in. Damn. Yo. I'm gonna be real though. He like saw Hisoka light the lighter, and he's like, "Thanks," and like didn't freak out. I'm like, bro, why? How would you not be like, who the fuck are you? Oh, dude, they're like all over the place. They're gonna kill everybody here. Oh, he's being controlled. Yeah, they're. Literally running the auction. Yo, are they going to extort all the money and 
get the items. I put them on all. Yeah, that's definitely what they're doing. Just getting yeah, even more totally money just out gonna, of this. Yeah, run the auction like for themselves. Oh, he's going to make a copy, oh, give it to them, yeah. and steal their money, this and get the making, original items? Wow, they're literally making out like a bandit, bro. Wow. Wow. Oh, damn, bro. Bro, they're double dipping right now. That's insane. I wish he just knocks this guy out. For real. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That felt so good. Uh oh. Savage. And you shouldn't. Yeah. Although it's kind of very risky. Oh, shit. The girl made a copy of his body. Oh, we make... Oh, my God, dude. They, so, they're making triple bank on this. They, so, yeah, they're going to have everybody thinking that the Phantom Troop die here. They're going to get all of the items from the auction... Well, the Zoldocs aren't. I guess the Zoldocs are getting money for killing all of these guys, plus from alumni running that job to kill the Dons. And right, but I'm saying the, the Phantom, Phantom Troop is going to get all the money from the auction because the, all these items, are, yep. they they're going to get anyway. the items and the money paid for them, and everybody's going to think that they're dead. Wow. That's what that fucking fortune meant, dude, when it was like you're going to lose a lot of allies. Nobody's actually dying, but it... Wow. Oh, shit. Oh, no. No, he just had to come in now. Oh, uh, shit. This isn't good. This is so not good. This isn't good. This is so the worst case. Is he going to Ahsoka? Oh. Oh, my God. You should have killed him. All right, two billion. And you're oh, going to lose that God. right now, my guy. <sighs> okay, so then I guess I did confirm when he steals someone's ability, they lose theirs. That's, so what, that's what I'm banking on right now. 
Yeah, because that, I mean, that would just make sense, like, with the way they're going. It's like, oh, as long as I have her, her thing, yeah, you're going to lose this trump card. Mm-mm, not what she th- wakes he's up. He's going to lose this trump card, and all the money he just mm-hmm. lost yep. is going to the Phantom Shroom, mm-hmm. who stole mm-hmm. her ability mm-hmm. to begin with. Dude, they are making out like bandits, bro. Holy crap. They are triple playing everybody here. And these aren't even real eyes. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's that's just got to be like some kind of messed up, dude. Dude, that is messed up. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he was wearing the contacts. <sighs> oh, my poor boy. He's so sad. Dog, you, you won't want to do this. <laughs> Bird. Oof. Damn, but my boy can be metal too. <laughs> he literally made him shit himself, dude. That's crazy. That's cut up, be cut. These faces. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, dude, their fucking life was on the line. They're like, yo, what up? We played. <laughs> We're playing. Fuck it. Oh my god. Lay Oreo, what are you doing? Yeah, I was gonna say Lure is underage too. Yeah, but also like who the fuck's watching? <laughs> I'm gonna be real here. Like, kill was killed people. Like, let's just fucking have a beer. <laughs> Damn, he sobered up real quick. Oh, yeah, that's right. Look at that auctioneer coming in to save the day. Yeah, facts, right? Damn, y'all want to do hell of cigarettes out Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, really? Copper guy has a little bit of a extenuating mm. circumstance. Oh, that's got to be fucked up. Mm-hmm. That's weird. Oh, my God. I don't like any of this. Mm. No, no, no. But she says this girl's kind of one of the stupidest people on the planet. Mm-hmm. I mean, I get that she's like 16 or whatever, but you just can't afford to be the stupid.
was calling him. Go and pick the fucking phone up. Oh. Oh, is Ahsoka trying to get thrown to him? Yeah, I think he's trying to call him. Cut off your head. Oh, interesting. So... My God, dude, the show, bro. Oh, fuck, damn, dude, bombshell after bombshell. Okay, so, so that's it. So I find it interesting that Hisoka was, at least from what he says, which I always try to take it at half value, but that he was planning on calling Karapika to provide him some kind of comfort, mm-hmm. which to me, meant that he was planning on telling Karapika that the Phantom Troop wasn't actually dead. Right. Neither was the leader. Yes. Which would provide him comfort in the sense that he wouldn't feel, you know, he would be like, okay, I still have the chance to, to end them. Mm-hmm. But my thing is, okay, yeah, so, and now it's like, I guess, you know, now that Karapika, at least now that Karapika thinks that the Phantom Troop is dead, he's probably, like, going through this, like, okay, what is the point of my life now? Because that was kind of like, I, you know, the whole reason that I was existing yeah. At least as an end user, as a hunter, whatever you want to call it, was to to uh, exact revenge, and not only that, but like then he had to like bait on you know the Curter Clan eyes, and he had to like w- like yeah, this whole episode was just like kind yeah, of a, a large L for Kadapika, yeah. and it's like it's fucked up because of how much of it isn't even what really <laughs> happened, you know? It's like yeah, fuck, dude. I guess one thing that it does show is revenge isn't always that sweet. Especially when you sign your life away for a contract. Yeah, or it's like, <laughs> it, and it, and especially because it's like, you know, could I, because, like, I don't know, what, I don't know exactly how old he is. I think he's like, what, what is it, like, he's... He's fucking 14 or Yeah, some like shit. 14, 16, something like that. Yeah. I don't know. But he's young is what I'm getting at. Mm-hmm. And I think that, you know, obviously, you know, even if you, again, the only the thing, one thing I can parallel this to is Naruto with Sasuke's quote, yeah. Quest for Revenge. When you're young, like... The goals and ambitions you set out, you know, regardless how extreme they are, if you're just talking about like what you want to do or getting revenge and killing a bunch of people, you don't have the the experience, quite frankly, to understand the scale of what it is you're at you're, you are mm-hmm. requesting to do or what it is you want done. Yeah. You like, and s- what I mean by that is like, so in Karapika being like, I want to kill the Phantom Troop, like I want to kill them all, or at the very least, all of the Phantom Troop that were you know, present and, and enlisted during the, uh, the Kurta clan, uh, genocide. So if he, but then like in his mind, the one thing that he and nobody here really anticipated, at least, and I'm going to include myself is that the Phantom troop aren't just like these mercenaries for hire, or they're not just this like band of like re- renegades that just like, you know, were exiled, but don't really give a fuck about anybody but themselves. They're like actually like a tight knit group. So like killing one of them, which was part of Karapika's goal, is actually what ended up enraging them and then, sick, you know, sicking them on the city in their own quest for vengeance. So it's like, yeah, like you said, revenge never pays because it just sort of induces this cycle of like, okay, Karapika, you killed one of them, but now, and granted this is because of their their dynamic, now they have a reason to be angry. Now they have a reason to go out and start, you know, killing random people, you know, uh, in the name of vengeance for their fallen comrade. And it's like, you know, like we were saying last episode, Karapika sort of now opened this bag of worms by like you know by doing that indirectly, and it's like now that it seems he seem you know he seems to have paid the price with all the Phantom Troop being dead, yeah. it's like this whole journey must kind of feel pointless because now the end goal experience was not only robbed from him, mm-hmm. but it was like kind of in a way his fault to begin with because if he hadn't killed that per- that one Phantom Troop member, they would have never come here. You know what I mean? And ended up getting killed. So it's like this must be fucking with his head like a million times over, dude. 
I, I also wonder what's going to happen when they find out that Killua's brother and family are willing are to do work for the or yeah. work with them and things like that. Because yeah, I feel I like that's the too. extended story. If, yes. if the family, if the Phantom Troop was to die, well, now we're going to have to look at all the associates and Killua's family. True, is they're, one of them now, of it, yeah. or has been. I mean, I'm not talking about his dad, but like obviously the brother. And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. is that going to be an eventual problem? Which I'm assuming is going to happen. And what, well, so what I think is even. It's, I think it's a little bit more dangerous because they're not, it's not like Killua's brother is like a member of the Phantom Troops. Mm -hmm. It's even worse though because the family code just dictates that when you're given a job, you do the job. It doesn't matter who pays you, it doesn't matter who it's asking you to kill, like whatever. These dudes were willing to fight to the death with the leader of the Phantom Troop member, but only as long as their, their job said so. Mm -hmm. The second, the literal second that those Dons were dead, they were like, all right, nothing personal, peace out. Like, it, it that, that amazed me, like, how. I guess how rigid and how structured they are to the being the job of an assassin, like a bounty hunter, basically, where it's mm -hmm. like, dude, I'm not, there's nothing personal here. I'm not killing you because I want to. Like, he even says it, we don't fight and kill for fun. Yep. We do it because, like, I'm not, I don't plan to fight for anything or fight for nothing or die for nothing. I want it, money has to be on the mm -hmm. lot and it has to be, you know, something of substance. And it's so interesting that the leader of the Phantom Troop then obviously knew that and used that against them because he hired their own, son, you know, uh, uh, the Zoldog father's own son mm -hmm. to kill the people that hired them. So it's like, in a way, he, yeah, he hired them to get, because he knew that, that this would happen, mm -hmm. to get them off his back. He's like, all right, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat them both, but if I can get the person who hired them killed, they won't have any reason to fight me. What, that's, it's like, that's such a big brain move. And it, it yeah, like I said, it, it proves to, I actually think, be more dangerous because they're not simply, it's not like, they're in it for the Phantom Troop. They're in it for the money. So mm -hmm. whoever is paying them the highest, all of a sudden now that's who your enemy is. Yep. And it's like that is that that was insane too. That was oh man. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait till next week. I absolutely can't that's wait. Yeah, balls to the wall. Hugs and kisses for my boy Kapika because he's just going through the ringer right now. Going through the ringer. And but he's going to meet the boys and they're going to come back. And they're going to yeah. be happy. I need. I need. going to be. We, we, we need happy like, time. We need a we need a vacay. Yeah. We need all the boys to just take him out. Yep. We just go have some fun. I mean, yep. I know it's probably wildly off story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wildly matter. off. Story. It's not gonna happen. But it's He's happening. He's gonna be here. depressed for <laughs> years. Let's be real here. It's happening <laughs> in my head, Cannon. We're going to Jamaica. <laughs> oh man. Uh, um. Yep. All right. Well, yes. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. What were your favorite parts of these episodes? Favorite, you know, big standout characters, moments? How satisfied were you when Karapika punched that big nose goon in the face Very. and gave him a Rudolph nose? Because mm -hmm. we were pretty satisfied. Mm -hmm. um, and don't forget also to go check out the AOA show, which is our partner channel to this channel, um, where we do a little bit more like in depth discussion type podcast review type content. Um, a lot of it is like segued off of stuff in shows that we're reacting to here. Uh, so don't forget to check that out. Give that a subscription and hit that bell so that you're notified every single time we upload because uh, you don't want to miss future videos and future reactions. Uh, but until next time, see you in the next video. Peace. Peace out. Ninjas of samurais, blaze of the cool knives. Find me in the leaf of the cloud, screaming out Bankai. We just some ghouls, though, who like seeing parts fly. They like what you're saying. Goma got more through the storylines. I... Tested your neck from the start. My hunters gon' come for your heart. I promise you'll land in my boulevard. Left them in one piece, no.